You're watching update 3 on Super Typhoon Maysac, which is located in the Western Pacific, passing the Micronesian Islands around the Yap area. It's a Category 5 Super Typhoon, only the second one ever recorded in the month of March, with winds of 160 miles per hour and a pressure of around 905 millibars. Its position is 10.2 degrees north, 139.9 degrees east, as of 2 p.m. UTC on March the 31st. Obviously, April is just arriving in the Western Pacific right now, um, and the Philippines will be next in line to receive uh, the typhoon uh, expected to move towards the west northwest over the next few days and uh, gradually weaken after peaking in the next 36 hours um, and may make landfall in northern um, in Luzon in the next um, five days possibly as a category two uh, current warnings in effect then let's take a look typhoon warnings remaining in effect for yap and its associated islands towards the northeast fires and alethi uh, who are experiencing the worst of the storm conditions at this time um, i looked at the satellite imagery earlier and uh, fires the one on the uh, left hand side uh, experienced the eye wall not so long ago on the very edge of the eye uh, as the storm passed so we'll keep you up to date about any effects that have occurred on those islands in one of our live updates later this evening uh, looking at sea surface temperatures remaining fairly warm at this point around 28 degrees celsius uh, where the storm is located gradually decreasing as it moves towards the philippines on the other side of the philippines warmer waters as well in the south china sea at this point uh, the wind shear is what will ultimately weaken the storm substantially uh, when it nears the Philippines. Very high amounts of wind shear north of, say, Samar onwards. Uh, at the moment, though, conducive amounts still. Uh, as far as water vapour is concerned, again, a little area of dry air towards the left-hand side of the storm um, near the coast of the Philippines. Uh, but still, around the storm itself, a fairly moist environment in its immediate vicinity. The latest satellite imagery, um, I suppose, is what is most um, unnerving, I guess. Here's the latest imagery from the um, floater imagery. Uh, you can see Yap in that pink outline, the very small island just southeast of the center of the storm. There's a little jump there in between the uh, frames, but you can see quite clearly where it's been headed and where it's going. And the eye is very well defined indeed, as well as its eye wall around it. A 160 mile per hour typhoon gusting to much higher than that, perhaps 190, 195 miles per hour. Very ferocious. As of March the 31st at 2 p.m. UTC, this is the situation around the world. In rest 91 and 92S, located in the South Indian Ocean, one or both of those may form. Maysac, of course, and Invest 99W uh, near the international dateline could also form in the next few days as well. Maysac was the 20th storm to form worldwide in 2015. 11 of those storms have become Category 1 hurricanes or their equivalents with winds of 74 miles per hour or higher. And 7 have become Category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour plus. Uh, Maysac is number 4 to become a Category 5 storm in what is an explosive start to 2015 around the world. You can visit Force 13 on any of our outlets. The website force13.com is the main place to be for all the goings on around the world stormwise. Of course, we've got a uh, YouTube uh, where you can see the past and present videos um, on our channel. Well, well over a thousand videos on there you can watch. And of course, the social pages, Facebook and Twitter. Search Force 13 on there for the latest updates. You can also speak to me personally on Skype at Fool 13 on there for tropical weather chat and to join our chat room. We're also live this evening at 11 p.m. UTC, that's 7 a.m. Philippine time on April the 1st, if you'd like to join us then. Uh, we're going to be discussing all the latest information on Maysac, but for me, that's all for now.